That is my best leprechaun accent, so I apologize in advance. Hi everybody, Jen Wainer, team leader of the Wainer Group, brokered by eXp Realty. And here is your lucky March market update uh, for the Phoenix metro area. Now one trend we are seeing is price reductions are up. It is peak buyer season right now, up until about April when we see peak buyer activity. And then we do see a summer slowdown because of course it gets hot here. One thing we are hearing from both our buyer and seller clients is we wanna wait. We wanna wait till see if the market's gonna go down or the market's gonna go up and they're putting off on you know, the home that they wanna buy or the, they really want to downsize because they're waiting for trying to time the real estate market. I'm going to show you, it's a very just simple um, activity here, how it's pretty much impossible to time the market. So Dana is my videographer. She's actually behind the camera here. Dana, I'm going to have you turn around and I want you to tell me to stop. Okay. So timing the market. This is our price line, and I'm just gonna go down um, on price, so we're gonna go up, and actually what we are seeing right now, even though prices are still going up, but we're seeing a more uh, slower trend. So Dana, yell stop whenever you're ready. Stop. Okay, so you said stop right here. And prices continue to go up. The price line, um, 2000, uh, it went uh, 08, 09, 10, 11, 12, 13. What we were seeing as prices were still going down, right about November of 2010, prices started to go back up. And then they, we saw them shoot way up. The best time to buy is um, what it, you could have done November 2010, but it's really anywhere in the bell curve. And you never know exactly when you hit bottom because there's no way the prices are still continuing to um, slow down or slow up, go up. Um, but right now, um, where we're at, and if you're, if it's a good time for you to buy, if prices were to go down 10%, you're still paying less for mortgage today at today's lower mortgage rate than you would um, next year if price, if uh, interest rates do go up to that five to six percent. The moral of the story is if it's the best decision for you to buy right now and the timing of the market's the only factor, I would venture to say, and just put this out there, of course, this is my opinion, my professional opinion, is th the timing of the market should not be a factor in that decision. If it makes financial sense um, and it's something that you have a goal to have home ownership and you're currently leasing, um, it probably makes more sense to buy than it is to lease. On the seller side, if you were looking at downsizing and still looking at this timing of the market as a factor in preventing you from moving forward, if it is the right decision, both financially and uh, for your lifestyle, I would also say to you, you know, the timing of the market is um, almost impossible and for you to take that out of, as a factor and just look at your personal goals and reaching those. So now, of course, the real estate market is local. If you are interested in your neck of the woods, what your area and what the market activity is like in that price range, please reach out to us. We have a really awesome tool um, to give you all of your options, including um, what your home could lease for, what your home could Airbnb for, um, what your refinancing options are. Um, so reach out to us today. I'd love to help. Hope everybody has a very lucky and happy day.